you horror freaks out there, this is the Strange Monkey coming at you with another horror movie review. Today we're going to be reviewing the sequel to The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2! Directed by Toby Hooper, who directed the original. For a decade, Texas Ranger Lefty Earnwright has sought to avenge the brutal murder of his kin by the cannibalistic Sawyer family. With the help of a radio DJ named Stretch, who's also bent on putting an end to the terror, Lefty finds his way to the Sawyer's underground butcher shop, where a battle of epic proportions soon rages. Lick my plate! So yeah, you have a man who has revenge on his mind. And uh, Lefty is played by the great Dennis Hopper, who is no longer with us, unfortunately. Would have been great to see him in other movies. And you know what? He's hell-bent on revenge. He a lot of uh, time has passed since the original film, and you know, this family is still around killing people, and he's, he wants to put a stop to it. You know. Meanwhile, there is uh, a radio DJ named Stretch who is just you know doing her thing, doing her job, you know, doing her little radio show, and these assholes decide to call her up on the radio, mess around, and uh, they're driving through Texas, and they eventually they run into. Uh, Leatherface and his buddy Chop Top, and they're screwed. That's what you get for messing around with them on the road earlier, you idiots. That's a bitch move. You don't do that when you're driving in Texas. Don't you know what they say about Texas? Don't mess with Texas. That's your own fault. One thing I noticed is that the original film was a lot more darker and more serious. This one, the tone is completely different. There are elements of horror, comedy, and uh, throughout the film, similar to The Evil Dead and The Evil Dead 2, which you did not see coming. And, you know, honestly, I like that. Um, some people thought that this movie wasn't, you know, that great because of that reason, but no, I, I honestly thought it was great. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that, you know, anybody that says that this movie was really bad and it's not so serious, hello, that was intentionally done like that. You know, Toby Hooper decided to do this. So, Everything is so over the top and, and ridiculous, you know, all the uh, members of the Sawyer family just losing their shit and screaming, Drayton Sawyer just having a good time knowing he won that chili competition, using human beef. I see what you're doing, sir. So yeah, um, this whole murder was heard on the radio, it was recorded, and Lefty convinces Stretch, hey, listen. I need your help. We gotta lure these guys out. Play this tape on the air. Play this murder and everything and, you know, let's see what we can do. And then they do that. And then, you know, there are consequences for these things. She's trying to leave. All of a sudden she runs into this guy. This is Chop Top, played by Mil Bill Mosley. And, you know, he's so weird, like, just wanting a tour of this station when it's closed when he clearly broke in there and all of a sudden Leatherface pops out starts causing chaos all over the radio station which is awesome they uh, take it to another level there's more blood there's more guts it's insane then they're at this uh, amusement park that's abandoned it's just so dark and mysterious and it's amazing and then there's also the return of Drayton Sawyer and the grandfather and it's just awesome to see them back in this film again, you know, and it's a lot of fun. This movie is just, that, that's all I can expect. It's its fun to watch, you know. Um, I'm going to take it a step further and say that this movie is a lot better than the first one. Don't attack me with pitchforks, that's just my opinion. Um, we all know that this franchise has had, it, has had its ups and downs, you know, but this, in my opinion, is one of the best. Um, but yeah, you know, Leatherface does his thing once again, but this in this one he seemed more frightened, and, uh, you know, as usual, well, compared to the first one, it's, uh, it's, it's different. You know, this one, he's just, it's like someone gave him a can of Monster Energy drink and he's everywhere, you know, he does that a bit too much, that was my only problem, but overall, I thought this movie was fucking awesome, um, but yeah. Toby Hooper did a good job with this film. Dennis Hopper has done serious movies, and in this one, he just he just gives people this weird look, like, "Get out of my way, or I'm gonna kill you." I'm on a mission, damn it. 
and he's testing out these uh, chainsaws and shit, and he's just losing his damn mind. <laughs> it's insane, but the, but I gotta say, the person who stole the show in this film was Bill Mosley as Chop Top. Like, he's one of the more interesting characters out of the whole Sawyer clan of people, you know, the, the damn cannibals, all the quotes that he says, it's just awesome. But yeah. I'm going to give the Texas Chainsaw Massacre a well-deserved, solid 8 out of 10. It's fucking great. You guys need to check this out. And if you haven't seen Texas Chainsaw 2, what are you doing? Especially fans of the series. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. You need to give this movie another chance and stop judging. Anyway, guys, I've been the Strange Monkey. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Have you seen this film? Let me know what your thoughts were in the comments below. Have yourselves a good fright. Hey, lick my plate! You're doomed if you stay here.